So I want to talk about an incident that happened on July 6th in Key West, Florida. It was 10 p.m. at night. I was walking from Subway and then I, I stopped at Dion's to get some drinks because otherwise I would have went to CVS, but I went to Dion's and I was using the crosswalk. And I hit the pedestrian button and it told me, you can cross. I did not see any vehicles at all. Nobody was there. It just said, you can cross when I hit the button on the crosswalk. I was using a crosswalk. I was doing everything legally. So they couldn't really tell me anything in that case that it was my fault. But the officer didn't admit that it's his fault either, you know, or even apologize. He treated me as I was trash, as I wasn't valuable, as I didn't have a family, as I wasn't a human being. Just because I'm a pedestrian, he probably thought that maybe my life didn't matter. Because when people see somebody walking, they automatically are judgmental and they probably think, oh, they, they don't have a house, they don't have a car, and they just treat them like bums. So if a person is working out or or jogging, you're going to judge them and think that they're beneath you. That's how he treated me, basically. So I was crossing using a crosswalk. It was on Truman and Key West by Dion's. There was a crosswalk that they made very recently. It's updated and it was working perfectly. There was no vehicles at all. And out of nowhere, when I'm using a crosswalk, I hit cross. I was in the process of crossing. Nobody was there out of nowhere. So I'm over here. This is the police officer. I don't even see him. So he comes out of nowhere. He didn't have his lights on or anything. And then he just knocked me over. I fell. And I feel like he did it just to bully me, to be honest, because he didn't even apologize. There was no way that he could not see me because I had on bright colors. I was wearing yellow and red. I was wearing yellow and red. How can you not see somebody walking using the crosswalk? Officers think that they're allowed to break laws because so many officers got away with killing innocent pedestrians. So he knocked me over i fell then he stopped the vehicle he doesn't even ask are you okay or anything he comes up to me um i got up and it felt like i really fell severely but luckily i'm alive so i got up and my stuff was on the ground my sandwiches my my drinks and then the officers picked it up and they put it on the sidewalk and we stepped on the sidewalk and he said were you just flagging me instead of apologizing and saying, are you okay? He's like, did you just flag me? And I said, officer, I did not flag you. I was using the crosswalk legally. I hit cross and it told me to cross. I was using a crosswalk. I wasn't crossing like in the middle of nowhere because if that was the case, they would have held me accountable for that because they, they can be dicks, you know, officers will hold you accountable for some petty shit like having like weed or you know crossing or jaywalking but this time he knows in this case he knows that I wasn't at fault because I was using a crosswalk and it was telling me to cross and I know officers are allowed to speed but I do not even see him the rules and I mean the laws say that you must yell two pedestrians while they're using a the crosswalk there's no way he could not see me because he was not there i'm not blind i can see you know i've been walking for for years you know walking nothing happened to me this is the first time i had trauma like this and they told me wait before you leave we have to get you checked out we're going to take you to the er and i said no i can't afford to do that maybe i'll be able to walk back home and the ER came and I refused to go with them. I said, it's only going to cause stress for my family and my mom because I have a wedding in August to go to, to my sister's wedding. And it would cause a, a big, you know, stress and financial stress to my family, not even 
financial but just stress for my mom because my mom wouldn't take something well she doesn't take things well you know she even gets like stressed out over the smallest things and the officer almost killed me I know she would like have a heart attack if she found out I did tell her about the incident about um but I told him I told her that he almost hit me I didn't tell her that he actually hit me just in case I told I did tell my sister that the officer hit me and I fell but I told her not to tell my parents that he actually hit me because it would just cause more issues and they would be stressed out and I don't want to I don't want to like ruin her wedding next month and my birthday is next month as well so this happened on July 6 two days ago my birthday is on August 9 that's like a month away my life is just as valuable as the next person for them to treat me so poorly you know it's just oh my god it's just horrible it's you know oh my god like i don't know how people can be officers as brutal horrible as this man was i have a picture of him I did not question his name or anything because I didn't want to have them call my mom for her to be stressed out because if she would be stressed out and something happened to her, I can't, I could not handle that loss, you know, because she, she really gets stressed out over, over even the smallest things, you know, so I don't want her to know about it. And if my dad would, would have found out, he would actually go and probably hit the officer or something so I don't want to tell him about it because he would actually go and you know if he would have fought the officer he would have been in jail you know so I don't want any issues so I don't tell them about it and then they would yell at me saying you shouldn't have been walking at night well it's not my fault I told my sister about it and she said um, I said I told her I was just trying to get my sandwiches home and drinks and she's like well stop eating sandwiches instead of saying that it's the officer's fault because it was his fault. I was using a crosswalk. I was doing everything legally. I was not crossing in the middle of nowhere. I was using a crosswalk and I did not see him. He comes out of nowhere. I think he, he did it in a way just to bully me as he was superior to me as he was in a car and I was walking. Like he's above me and I'm a piece of shit, you know? That's how, how poorly this man treated me. We need some faith in this and on our humanity and officers like i wish they would just wouldn't hire anybody so ignorant and cold brutal and mistreating as this officer is i don't know how he's an officer i don't know how they hired him i hope one day this man gets fired or something happens to him as bad as it happened to me he caused me a lot of trauma i cannot afford to go to the hospital on my expense and I knew if they would have took me to the ER, they probably would have made me at fault. They would probably arrest me and take me to the wrong location and say that, oh, well, it's probably her fault. She had weed or something. You know how petty officers are. But yeah, I just wanted to, to really vent about what happened. So there's a record just in case if I died or something, this man would be accountable. He's a bald officer in Key West he's he's Caucasian white bald I think his name is Sean but I do not get his full name it could have been another officer that's bald that looks like him if I'm able to see his picture I am able to identify him so another officer was with him this other man and so he was a witness and then he got another lady to come up to me and ask me what happened today and I said well I was using a crosswalk and she was like, where were you coming from? I said, I went from, D first I went to Subway and then I had to go to Dion's because CVS was closed and I was my only source to get drinks for tonight so I can have drinks for work the next day. And then she's like, so what happened? So I said, I was using a crosswalk and this gentleman hit me and I fell and it caused me to lose balance and fall. And she said, and and she was like, so this happened here? I said, yes. And then the gentleman that hit me, well, he's not a gentleman, but the officer that hit me, the bald guy that hit me, he goes and says, wait a minute, I didn't hit you that hard. It wasn't that serious as 
you know, he was he was basically saying, oh, well, I didn't kill you, did I? It was close. You could have killed me. And I'm sure he would have still been alive, still been with the police department working while I'm dead in a casket, you know, as I'm beneath him. Horrible treatment. I wish I was able to record this. And I, I'm lucky to be alive and to, you know, actually get my stuff off the ground, you know, horrible. It's, it's like horrible. I don't know how people this cold and brutal could be police officers, but I just wanted to vent. So there's a record on YouTube or online that I got hurt. And if I died or something, they would know what happened. Okay. So I'm sorry. This is a pretty negative video, but I wanted to get this off the way. The officer didn't even apologize. I'm the type of person that apologizes for like the smallest inconveniences. This is a serious matter. He almost killed me. He didn't even say sorry. I was the one in the situation that apologized. I didn't do anything wrong. He came out of nowhere. I did not even see him and he hit me and I fell. I was double checking. Nobody was there. I hit cross. It told me to cross. He comes out of nowhere. He, his lights were not on because if there, had the lights were on, I would be able to spot him and I wouldn't have crossed at that time. It's just horrible how officers are not even stopping. There's crosswalks for a reason. People using the crosswalks and the officers think, oh, well, it's, it's my go. I'm an officer. I can just run this bitch over. She doesn't have a life. She doesn't have a family. You know, she's beneath me because I'm going to assume just because she's a pedestrian, she doesn't have a home. She doesn't have a car. She's beneath me. That's how bad this officer treated me. Horrible. I'm, I'm sorry, but the Key West Police Department is a piece of shit. Fuck y'all. Like, I hope you, you have some trauma like this so you know how it feels or somebody in your family. Because now I have to save money for my medical treatments in hospital because who's going to do it for me? None of you bitches. Fuck the police. He was police department. I'm sorry, but fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Because now my body hurts everything. Look, my injuries. These are my injuries from, from me falling down. They asked me if I had any injuries, but I just wanted to get home. I didn't want to have stress caused to my mom or family. So, I, you know, I really picked myself up and I choose to be strong. And I walked back home and they offered me a ride and taxi. And I said no, because I knew if I would have got in a car with them, they would. And I didn't want to pay for a taxi, you know. I know I got hurt, but I was like, I'm not paying $30 for some asshole to be rude to me on the way. And I was not gonna sit in a car with them because I knew they, they would have probably made me look stupid, made me at fault because, you know, officers always think that they're right and no, nobody is wrong. The least this man could have did was apologize to me and say, I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm sorry. No, he didn't say shit. Horrible, I don't know who raised this man. Son of a bitch, fuck him. I hope he gets hurt or somebody in his family has trauma and knows how it feels to be hit by a big ass car. Of course, I'm a human being. Of course, I'm gonna fall if a car hits me. It's horrible how an officer just choose me to choose to bully me a month before my birthday. Horrible.